COVID-19 is a communicable respiratory disease caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. Basically, SARS-CoV-2 is the name of the virus that causes COVID-19. Pneumonia, on the other hand, is an infection in the lung tissue caused by microbes resulting to inflammation which in turn causes fluid accumulation in the lung tissue making it hard to breathe. COVID-19 pneumonia is therefore a severe form of coronavirus disease characterized by an inflammation reaction as a result of the destruction of the deep airway and alveoli. What is this virus? How does it infect your body? What cell does it affect? And what really happens to your lungs after infection? Infection begins when you inhale air containing SARS-CoV-2. The inhaled air containing the virus reaches lungs by traveling down the trachea to the bronchi, bronchioles, and to the alveoli where majority of gas exchange takes place. So in the alveoli of the lungs, we have the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptors, what we call the S2 receptors. The S2 receptors are not only found in the lungs, but also in the kidney and even in the blood vessels. Their presence in the lungs is important because they are there to protect your lung tissue. But somehow the virus through its spikes figures out a way to interact with the receptor and uses the receptor to duck. The virus then goes ahead and takes advantage of the cell as a factory. So basically, the lung becomes the factory of the virus. When does pneumonia come in? Pneumonia comes in as a complication when COVID-19 disease gets severe. It causes inflammation in your lungs, damaging cells and tissue that line the air sacs in your lungs. The damage causes tissue to break off and by so doing, they clog your lungs. The walls of the air sacs also thicken, making it hard to breathe. In addition, if you develop pneumonia, you are likely to develop acute respiratory distress syndrome, which is basically a progressive type of respiratory failure that occurs when the air sacs in the lungs fill up with fluid. Signs and symptoms of COVID-19 pneumonia are similar to other types of pneumonia and can include fever, chills, cough, which may or may not be productive, shortness of breath, chest pain, and fatigue. So when do you seek emergency care? If you experience the following symptoms, then you should definitely seek for emergency care. Difficulty breathing, rapid shallow breathing, rapid heartbeat, trouble staying awake, persistent chest pains. Who's most at risk for developing COVID-19 pneumonia? Number one, older adults. Adults aged 65 and older are at an increased rate for serious illness. Next, underlying health conditions. Individuals of any age who have underlying health conditions are at an increased rate for serious illness. Health conditions that can put you at a higher risk include COPD, the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, asthma, heart conditions, diabetes, and liver disease. Number three, weakened immune system. Being immunocompromised or having an immune system that is weaker than normal can raise the risk of serious COVID-19 illness. Weakened immune system can result from taking medication that weaken your immune system such as corticosteroids or drugs for an autoimmune condition, undergoing cancer treatment, having received an organ or bone marrow transplant. How is it treated? Currently, there is no specific treatment approved for COVID-19, although a variety of drugs are being tested. However, management can be done according to the symptoms with the aim of elevating the symptoms. And why is it important to manage the symptoms? Well, sovereignty of COVID-19 disease is categorized as either mild, moderate, severe, or critical. If you're having mild to moderate symptoms, then you're likely to recover. But having severe symptoms and being in critical stress simply means you can die, unfortunately. So by managing the symptoms, you improve your recovery progress, and at the same time, delay rapid progress today. Mechanical ventilation or oxygen therapy is necessary for those experiencing respiratory failure. If you're having viral pneumonia, then you are at an increased risk of developing secondary bacterial infection. If that occurs, antibiotics are used to treat the bacterial infections. 
As always, prevention is better than cure. While it may not always be possible to prevent COVID-19 pneumonia from developing, these are some of the steps you can take to lower your risk. Number one, continue to implement infection control measures such as frequent hand washing, physical distancing, regularly cleaning high touch surfaces. Number two, practice lifestyle habits that help boost your immune system. For example, staying hydrated, eating a healthy diet, and getting enough sleep. Next, if you have an underlying health condition, continue to manage your condition and take all medication as directed. Lastly, if you do become ill with COVID-19, carefully monitor your symptoms and stay in touch with your healthcare provider. Remember, do not hesitate to seek emergency care if your symptoms begin to worsen.